That big head, though. <laughs> like, you found the jacket, but... Found the jacket, but not so much the head. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> We'll get on there. Oh, no, no, no. that fits. Look at you. You just can't. I don't think it fits. <laughs> Casey Phillips here with Robert Hainsey. We are at Olivia. You said this is your favorite restaurant. You guys come here all the time, and we are going to learn to cook. Are you a good chef? I don't know. Well, I guess, I guess we're going to see. But yeah, this is my favorite restaurant here in Tampa. I love all the food. I've come here a bunch, so I'm really excited to do this. Well, now we are in the kitchen ready to go, and of course, we could not do this alone. Who knows what would happen if we were in charge? So we have the expert here, Chef Ben uh, of Olivia. Thank you so much for being here, and he was so kind to get you your own oh, chef's there we go. hat and jacket. So Let's I go. think we're going to need you to put that on. While he puts that on, why don't you explain what we are going to be cooking in here? Absolutely. Uh, w one of uh, Robert's favorite dishes here is our uh, crudo presentation that we do on the plate with an, a, a hiramasa, which is the Japanese name for an Australian kingfish. And then once we move into the kitchen, we're going to make our mini rigatoni. It's obviously our best seller here at Olivia. Absolutely delicious with a 24-hour bolognese. We hand make all of our own mini rigatoni. You guys are going to get to see how it's put together on the pickup of the tickets each and every day. We cut it like this. Like you want to do it, yeah, like you do it like you, you get that fatty part off at the end, and then you lay it like that and cut it right through. You want to cut some? Sure. Yeah, how about that thickness? Yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. Yep, there you go. Oh, that's per. Look at that. <laughs> it says offensive line is in a skill position. I was going to say, that's better than most of my line cooks do. <laughs> Big man with an Look at that. No, not quite. <laughs> <laughs> that's tougher. It is. This is hard, yeah. Look at you. Getting it out the. Uh, bitty, bitty little thing. Getting off it. the core is tough. I know. What? <laughs> Look at Chef Bob. That's fantastic. And now stop and move your fingers down. Yep. There you go. All right, perfect. The only goal I have today is you not <laughs> cutting your fingers. All right, so you build five on the plate, okay? Five pieces. Five pieces on the plate. And each piece of fish, okay, gets a little piece of Calabrian chilies. And these are spicy, oh, man. okay? So each piece of fish gets like that, and then each piece of fish is gonna get a little bit of chives. Do you like spicy food, Robert? Um. A little bit. I'm not like... You're not crazy about it? I, I like it, but too, it gets too spicy very fast. And then we make a Calabrian chili aioli. It's the same chili. The same chili's here. We make it obviously in-house. And then you're going to dot like that. That's perfect. I was a little off center, man. I mean, <laughs> we're losing. You're like, we're losing. Same symmetrical piece. Ah, uh, we're going to the Picasso food. <laughs> So would you eat this whole thing in one bite? Is that yeah. the idea? That is the idea, so that you get all the all flavor yep. components in one bite. Beautiful. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that's good. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, I didn't mean to get that last one. That's all right. It's delicious. When you spread it all around, yeah, it doesn't like matter. Yep. Yeah. And then if you yeah. knock it against it, it there you ah. go. Perfect. We serve it here any day of the week. Look awesome. And you take six ounces of the bolognese base with a six ounce ladle, one ounce of cream, and then one ounce of garlic butter. All right, and that you're gonna bring that to like a simmer until all the ingredients incorporate together. Okay. okay? So we plate we plate it like this, okay? That goes on right on top, and then it's done. Oh. And it goes out to the customer just like that. Six here? Correct. So one, and that's a six ounce ladle. So one full scoop, or yeah, if you get a half, just a little bit more. There you go. Perfect. Okay. And that's a one ounce ladle. So one ladle of that. Perfect. And then just use that spoon for butter. Perfect. That's it, right now. Yeah, you're good. Oh, oh, we got a splatter already. <laughs> oh, look at uh, you look even at make the, an adjustment. I love it. Look at the temperature Take. adjustment. Obviously, your goal is to win a Super Bowl. What do you use that as motivation? Like, do you think of it like, I want to be that guy who won a ring? Or is your drive just to get better every day and make the team better? Like, how do you go into practice every day? Yeah, I think it's kind of a little bit of both. Like. 
grand scheme of things, like, yeah, you want to be the best player you can be and win the Super Bowl. Uh, but pra like that's like the biggest picture. And then it comes on the praxis, and it's like, I'm going to focus on two things today. Okay. My first two steps and my hand being right here instead of right here. <laughs> and that's my, and if I do that in practice today, like, it was a pretty good day because you can only focus on so many things. Right. You have to pick like very specific things to work on. Woo! Oh, there we go. Look at that. Wow. That's incredible, Rob. Look oh, at you. I'm so impressed. Oh, he's so getting hard. confident. He's getting it. That's impressive. Burn the glove into my hand to get too right. far over the flame. Yeah. Heat yeah. it up. Plate it. Cool. Beautiful. Scoop a ricotta, yep, yeah, there it is. Perfect. Yes. Awesome. Perfect little dollop, the basil leaf, then the part and the parmesan. I'll be very generous with the cheese. Okay. Very generous with the cheese. <laughs> fine, fine. <laughs> I'll put more parmesan on it. Yep, and then pick off a nice piece of basil and lay it right on top. That is outstanding. Look at that. Chef Robert. If I asked you, could you eat all of this? Ah, uh, no, no. No. Probably not. I'm pretty hungry right now. Could anybody on the line do it? Yeah, probably. Who? Luke eats a lot. Yeah. Tristan could kind of eat as much as he wants. Yeah. I guess we'll see, though. We'll huh? see. All right, dig in. All right, you going to start with this crudo? Yeah, you got to try it. You got to you, you go for it. You eat all that. Thanks. Yeah. How do you do? Delicious. <laughs> so amazing. good. Tell me about these O-line dinners. You know, every Thursday night, and then we order an outrageous amount of food. Because you, you order, order every everything. appetizer, and then everyone gets an entree. Like, That's incredible. So it's really fun because you get to try, you get to try every, all the different things they have. Did you, as a rookie, ever have to pay? Yeah. So yeah. we do those, we go oldest to youngest. So like the oldest person pays for the first one. Mm -hmm. And then after, oh, that's interesting. So they don't only make the rookies pay. Like y'all no. are y'all are nice about it. No, but then you have your, your rookie dinner at the end. Mm. Which was fun. Well, and last year had to be so stressful in a lot of ways for you, just what you got thrown into. That was a lot. Yeah, and I felt like I could do it too. And that's kind of why I was ready for it. And you know, yeah, it's my a rookie deal. year, not ready for it. Yeah. Not even close. Yeah. But so take that year. year, you learn a lot, you get a great off season, mm -hmm. and then you're ready to go when yeah. you need to be. What's um what's your favorite thing about playing O line specifically? But I think what we love about it is that it takes all five of us and that five guys being on the same page is what gets the job done because there's eleven guys on the team and five of us are kind of one position group. Mm hmm Do you feel like you guys have a greater bond maybe even than other position groups because of that? Probably. Yeah. I think that's another kind of stereotype, but it usually ends up being true, is mm -hmm. that like the offensive line is the closest position group. Yeah. How do you feel like you did? As, you, as we survey the food that you made, do you feel like uh, your your post-football career could include some cooking? I would hope so. What do you think? Why well, they said to make That's yours. true. Um, what kind of chef would you be if you were going to become a chef now? What do you feel like? What kind of food? What would you want to do? What, what restaurant would you open? I still think this would be cool, or like, I think barbecue would be awesome. Yeah. Yeah, do you feel like you did uh, better than you would have thought you would have done with all this? What were your expectations? I had pretty high expectations, but I also knew we were getting help, so yeah, I expected true. it to like, it can't, I was like, it can't go that yeah, bad. Yeah, you crushed it. Um, I think it's, it's been really good. He made this and it's phenomenal. <laughs>